Welcome to this presentation from Pawpaw TV. We present an original lecture from Dr. Jerry McLaughlin, Professor Emeritus of Pharmacognosy at Purdue University and winner of the Tyler Prize. He is talking about his life's work. It is presented in nine parts. Since he is talking about a serious condition, we remind you that his remarks cannot be taken as medical advice, but are intended for educational purposes only. If you are viewing this from a country that does not allow this kind of teaching, please stop viewing now. And if you are sick, see a doctor. Maybe you can find one that speaks herbal medicine. Well, I'm really happy to be here, and this is my 33rd talk on pawpaw in the last seven months. I'm just about shot. <laughs> uh, but I'm really happy to talk about it anytime, any place. And uh, it's been my life's work. And I'd like to be able to spend the next hour or so to tell you about it. Uh, the next slide <coughs> is a disclaimer slide, which is necessitated by the bureaucratic society that we've created for ourselves. Uh, I'm not supposed to use the word cancer. And yet one guy in two and one woman in three out there is going to get cancer. Uh, it's big pharma's business to talk about cancer treatments or cancer cures. Okay. Uh, I was watching uh, the public television show uh, the Red Green Show. Did you ever watch that? He's got a red suspender and a green suspender. The other night he was signing off and he said, uh, Go well, goodbye out there, all you folks. And I remember, I remember, keep thinking, uh, keep thinking out there, because uh, if we don't think, uh, government happens. <laughs> and I had, uh, in February, I was on a radio show out of Salt Lake City. Dr. Hugo Rodier has a medical talk show and had me on and said, well, what's your opinion of the Food and Drug Administration? And a lot of times I forget that I'm on the air. And I said, well, I think, I said, Hugo, uh, we can all rest assured that the Food and Drug Administration will be there protecting our health as they watch us die. <laughs> and that's exactly what we have today. We're overregulated. Okay. So I have to put this up. Three lawyers and four lawyers' assistants have been over this talk. Okay. The next slide. Uh, I want to give you some facts and figures. These are readily available from the American Cancer Society, and I don't want to go over these all, but I just want to point out that the third one down there is about 600,000 people die of cancer per year in the United States. 600,000 people. That, that's one person a minute that dies of cancer in the United States. One person a minute. Uh, to put that number in perspective, in the Civil War, in four years, from 1861 to 65, we lost 600,000 uh, men on both sides. And that was in four years of the Civil War. But in one year, we lose that many people to cancer. And in the Vietnamese War, we lost 60,000. In all the years, from the 60s into the 70s, in the Vietnamese War, 60,000. So each year, 10 times the number of people who died in the Vietnam War die of cancer. And we lost about 3,000 people on September 11th due to the terrorist activities. 3,000 people. 600,000 people died that year of cancer. And because of those 3,000 people, we invaded Afghanistan and Iraq. And we're ready to spend $87 billion to try and restore Iraq. Now President Nixon declared war against cancer back in 1971 or 72. Whatever happened to that war? Did we win it? I don't think so because I just read in USA Today this summer that cancer cases are up 19 percent since 1990. So we didn't win. What's happened to that war? We spend about $2 billion a year, as I understand, th through research at the National Cancer Institute, and that's good. But unfortunately, we've left it up to Big Pharma to develop treatments for cancer. And a lot of the money that's gone into cancer research at the National Institutes of Health has gone into the study of the biology of cancer. So we've paid for the Human Genome Project. So we understand all the genes in the body and all that stuff. And this has helped. We understand the under 
We understand the biology of cancer a lot better now. But what about those folks, those one people, one guy in two, one woman in three, that got cancer or are going to get it? Uh, we haven't really served them well. Okay? Uh, <clears throat> You may find some of Dr. McLaughlin's published work listed at the National Library of Medicine website, www.pubmed.org. Look for entries under the term acetogenin and his name, McLaughlin, comma, JL. Copyright 2008, Richard Lund. All rights reserved.